Hey guys, welcome to another video from Archie Drums. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and give us a thumbs up if you like the video. So in this video, I'm going to be talking to you all about the compound effect. I'm going to be explaining to you what it is and how it helps us as drummers. So the compound effect is basically doing something which is a simple exercise and you do it over a long amount of time and you get to experience outstanding results from doing it. So the compound effect really is about being simple and not overworking yourself and not getting too overwhelmed. It's just being consistent and keeping it simple. So if you've ever heard the term work smart and not hard, that kind of um, relates to the compound effect. Except for, I personally like the term work hard and smart. But basically what this means is for us drummers is that it's proven to be better for us if we actually practice for 20 to 30 minutes every single day rather than just practicing for two or three hours here and there and not being consistent with it. I'm sure we're all guilty of it, I know I am. I, I've spent many times where I've played in the drum kit for hours and end at a time and I've not touched the drum kit for a week or two and I've gone back to it and it's been completely unorganized practice. There's been no real structure towards it and I've just not really got great results over time. I've just kind of stayed in the same place. So that's kind of what I'm getting at with the compound effect and why it helps. So there is a catch to the compound effect when it comes to us drummers. It's not as simple as just sitting down for 20, 30 minutes and playing. We do need the practice sessions to be organized, structured, and also we need to be using exercises which are proven to help drummers over time. So you need to make sure you're practicing the right exercises. There is another catch as well, and this is the most important thing of all. When you are practicing, you need to be completely focused on your practice session. So if your mind is wandering off anywhere during your practice session and you're not fully concentrated, that's gonna have a negative effect on you. So if you ever sat there on the drum kit and you're sort of practicing and you're thinking, oh, this is boring, oh, this is not helping, this is pointless, I'm just too tired to play right now, you really need to be aware of them thoughts and you need to eliminate them straight away. Now this sounds easier said than done, but actually if you can concentrate and put more energy into focusing on the drum exercises and the practice itself, you'll realize that it actually eliminates all the stress and the anxiety and the bad thoughts and the negativity. So it's actually a really great sort of life development as well in just terms of being able to shut out the noise in your head. So guys, my challenge to you right now is to pick an area of your drumming that you're not too strong in or that you find that you're a little bit of a weaker link for you. So you might find that your left hand isn't as strong as your right hand or your bass drum's not too strong. Pick an area of your drumming and spend five to 10 minutes every single day for the next one month just working on that one part of your drumming and being completely focused every single day you do it. And don't forget, if you do track your results as well, you'll find it so much easier to do this every single day. If you've not seen my video on tracking, I do explain this a lot further. You can click the link below in the description and I'll take you over there. So guys, once you practice this yourself for a whole month, you'll be able to see yourself how well this actually works and you'll be able to look at your own results and think, wow, I've really improved in this month. When I realized this technique and this method, it really elevated my playing to the next level and I really do strongly believe that this can help any drummer at any level. By the way guys, if you are wondering how to structure your practice and be organized and what exercises to practice, then I have put together for you a free downloadable PDF practice planner which you can have by just clicking the link in the description below. Just pop your email in and we'll send that over to you straight away. Okay, so that's it for this lesson guys. Thanks so much for tuning in again. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Leave us a thumbs up if you like the video and also please feel free to comment below, ask any questions you want and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks so much guys, I'll see you in the next video.